we've got now a talking post box and what a really ornate and beautiful post box. This isn't like the post box at the end of my street. Before I started doing anything else with this, I'd be chatting to the children about what we could see, what we looked like, whether it's magical because it's so beautiful and golden or whether it belongs to somebody important. Let's say they come up by saying, oh, it belongs to the Queen, to the royal family. This is the kind of thing we would have in the palace. What a great stimulus for writing then. Why don't we all write letters and messages to the Queen to pop in the golden post box for her to read? When your children have written their letters to the Queen, and obviously you will differentiate that depending on how good and, and how effective the, the, their writing is. And this is what happens when we pop it into the letterbox. Listen carefully. Thank you so much for your letter. I will make sure it gets to the right person. I'll show you how easy it is to record a different message because obviously I've recorded that one specifically for the lesson. But let's suppose we were doing a, a well-being group activity and we wanted to say nice things, positive things about other members in the class. So we were going to write something positive, something lovely about another member of the class and then we'll share them all out afterwards. And we've all been given secret people to write about to make sure nobody's missed out. So I'd, obviously I don't want necessarily that same message. So all I do is move it across at the bottom so I can record. And it's a single button record. And this time I think my message is going to say, thank you for your lovely note. Once they're all in, we will pick them out and share them out so we can see all the lovely messages to the class. Let's take it on a bit further. What about an ideas box in your class? So maybe it's not an emergent writing lesson, but it's an ideas box and you want children to be able to put their own ideas for things that could happen or changes that could be made or things that would make their classroom happier. And again, a simple message that says something like, Thank you for your idea. I will read it later. The message that you, you record on there can personalise to whichever activity you're going to do. But it's just one of these things that's going to be so engaging for the children to write something because they know that when they do and put that Thank in the letterbox, there's an answer. Note. 